Bring dance moves. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. I hope bringing in the 31st birthday is as fun when we make it there. <laughs> People are probably like, time, how old right? are they Long now? Time, Where yeah. are their moms? Uh, <laughs> Gusty winds have been the big story all weekend long, but that didn't stop people from heading out to the beach this weekend. Here's a look at Pismo Beach earlier this afternoon, and people have sent in their photos using the hashtag BeYondKSBY. Here's Rick Evans' photo checking out the seaside views there. Here's a photo from Cindy of the Cliff Sunset earlier this evening. Current temperatures now kind of getting on the chillier side. 59 in Santa Maria and San Luis Obispo, 63 in Paso Robles, and 65 in Santa Barbara. 24-hour temperature change showing that Paso, San Luis Obispo and Santa Maria are one degree warmer than this time yesterday, but two degrees cooler in Vandenberg. Now all weekend long, our temperatures have actually been trending five to 10 degrees cooler than normal, but our winds have been above normal, prompting several advisories. Calm in Santa Maria right now, but seven miles per hour in San Luis Obispo, 17 in Paso Robles, seven in Lompoc and three in Santa Barbara. Our wind forecast showing that these strong winds are going to stick around at least through Tuesday by Monday. Monday evening, wind gusts in Santa Barbara, 17 miles per hour, 20 in Lompoc and 17 in Morro Bay. Those numbers fluctuating again through Tuesday. And because of that, we have several advisories out there. Now, our wind advisory for Slow County expired earlier this evening, but the wind advisory for Santa Barbara County has now been extended until Tuesday morning. And we also have a gale warning stretching across the entire central coast, as well as a small craft advisory. And that's because these strong winds can generate bigger waves potentially 8 to 11 feet. So definitely keep that in mind if you are planning on heading out on the water over the next few days. Relative humidity, something that first responders have been monitoring as these strong wind gusts and low relative humidities can combine to make extreme fire weather danger. But because of our upper level forecast, you'll notice a low pressure trough that's coming into our area and that's making our temperatures drop a few degrees, at least for the start of the week. But then new high pressure system comes back by Thursday and that's going to make our inland areas potentially reach triple digits again. Our microclimate model now showing some cloud coverage tomorrow morning before it drifts away in the afternoon and then returns again in the evening. Maybe bring some light precipitation before the pattern continues again on Tuesday. But our forecast for tomorrow again going to be a sunny and windy day. 82 in Paso Robles, 77 in San Luis Obispo, 75 in Santa Maria and 72 in Lompoc. As we head down the coast, 70 in Carpinteria, 82 in Santa Inez and 79 in Los Alamos. In the five cities, 73 in Apomo, 76 in Rio Grande, 71 in Pismo Beach. And in northern San Luis Obispo County, 68 in Avila Beach, 86 in Atascadero and 64 in Morro Bay. Our five day forecast going to show that fluctuation in temperatures 75 in Santa Maria by the start of the week, but back in the 80s by Friday and check out Paso Robles 82 on Monday, but close to 100 again on Friday. You can always see our 10 day forecast on our app in the App Store.